Good morning. How are you today? It's Robin Jana Rosenhouse. I am so happy to be here with you as always today. I am bringing you the energy report for May 19, 2022. As always, if you're catching this on a different day, that el that energy, this energy is relevant to you at that time because all energy is available all the time. All right, <clears throat> almost done sharing this out. We're gonna be talking about not getting stuck in the past. And so what I mean by that is <clears throat> a lot of times when we are uh, living our life, making changes, wanting to reach a goal, wanting to manifest something, where we very, very often will um, allow the past to kind of inform our present. And, <clears throat> but in a, in a negative way, like in a, in a, I don't even want to say negative, in a non-beneficial way. Um, I'm getting distracted by Izzy trying to get under his blankie. <laughs> it's always a, a thing. Um, <laughs> you good? Okay. <laughs> um, you know, like you'll sit there and you'll see, you know, you, you might say, I've tried that before, right? And it didn't work. Or um, I've, I've tried to lose weight and I can't lose weight. I've uh, it, it never happens. Um, I, I have uh, tried to break through my income goals and it never happens. I don't understand what's going on, right? And so you decide that either you're not going to try anymore or you decide that, um, that, that you're just not good at it, right? That it's impossible for you to, to be, do, or have. And that's simply not the truth. All that it means is in the past, you haven't yet found the way to achieve something. You haven't yet found the way to change a pattern. That's all. It doesn't mean that you're incapable of it. It doesn't mean that it's not gonna happen. What it means is you have been successful at discovering the ways in which it doesn't work. And so now it's like looking at the past through the eyes of, okay, let's gather data. When I tried this before, or when this happened before, what were the circumstances? What was my mindset? How did I feel? What else was going on in my life? What, you know, where were there other options that I was not willing to engage in? And you gather all that data, you get really, really quiet and you listen and you gather all that data. And when you do that from the space of, this is just data, this is just information. It's nothing about who I am. It's nothing about my, my skill set. It's nothing about um, my worthiness. It has, it's, it's nothing about that. This is data. What can I do differently to change the outcome, increase the probability of getting, having, receiving, um, achieving a new outcome? If there's something that you truly, truly want, it's really important to take the time to look at the data so that you can um, achieve something different so that you can have a different outcome. Will you be successful? You might not, but you might find that you are closer. Now, 
The thing is, most of the time, the solution, the way, is going to be something very unexpected. It's going to be something that doesn't even make sense. Like you, you can be looking at it and going, wait, what? Why? What? No, you know, and I've said this before, like sometimes, sometimes you'll, you'll be sitting there and you'll be like, what's the next right step? And the next right step is going to the grocery store. You know why something like that could be the next right step? Because it gets you out of the pattern of thinking that you're currently in while you're trying to solve your problem. Someday, I don't have my brush at my desk. <laughs> Someday you're not going to be looking at me fixing my bangs all day long. Someday. Um, it's not a priority. <laughs> but, you know, but it could be something like, let me take a minute to fix my bangs. Because again, it, it stops the current thought process. It allows another part of your brain to take over. It allows you to refocus someplace else. And that's huge. That's really huge. That can make all the difference in the world. It really can. It changes perspective. I mean, it's, this is a silly example, but you know, look, Look at my picture behind me. When I was downstairs, um, I had it backlit and it was much farther behind me. And, um, and it was on a green wall. And so it stood out differently. And what's very interesting is, um, you know, the perception through the screen is it's very dull. It's, you know, it's not as vibrant as it was down there. However, when you're in the room, you're looking at it from a different viewpoint. It's very, very bright. It goes with the walls beautifully. The pinks and the greens, they all pop. They pick up, they, they, like they look a little more red or coral here. And actually, they pick up the... um the, the, the pink from the carpet really, really well. It's perception. It's taking a step back and it's looking at it from a different angle. Do you see what I did? I just moved my computer monitor, right? And again, we got a different angle. It's pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty cool. And I, you know, and, and I moved my computer monitor and my desk is a little catty corner. Um, and so I can, again, see the room differently from where I'm sitting. I just moved my monitor, which is really huge. Gives me a different view. Did anything change? No, it's still the same situation. But I'm looking at it from a different view. Right now, I can see entirely out my, my side door that leads to my deck, and I can see my whole backyard right now. When I move the monitor a little differently, um, I can see where Angel is sitting on the cushion in front of the window better. Nothing is changing. So what you, the, what you need to remember when you're looking at the goal that you're trying to reach is number one, you can reach it. Number two, the way to reach it exists as long as it's something that you really, really want. Number three, learn from the past, like use the past as data, just gather the research from the past. But most importantly, it's taking all of that and it's staying here in the now. That was then, this is now. I'm not who I was then. I'm not who I was before I started this video. When I started this video, I was a person who did not yet record a video on, uh, on Thursday, May 19th, 2022. Now I am.
When I complete the video, when I sign off, I will be a person who has completed a video. It changes. It helps change you. It changes you. Sounds silly. Sounds simplistic. You don't realize it. It all adds up. So if you're having a problem letting go of the past, if you're having a problem um, like where you just keep going into, well, this happened, you know, six years ago, and so now I'm afraid to do A, B, C, and D, reach out to me. Let's have a chat. Let's see how we can help you to move past that and at least start on your way of getting past it. I mean, you know, when I'm, I said to somebody recently, you know, we can't take, you know, 49, 50 years, or most she was something like that, um, worth of stuff and change it in an hour. But what we can do is get it started. What we can do is get that first step, which will lead to the next step, which will lead to the next step, which will lead to the next step, which will, you know, result in making the changes that you want to have. So uh, DM me, reach out to me on my website, robinjrosenhouse.com. There's a contact form. If you're on IG, if you're on Facebook, there's a, a book now or a schedule now button. If we haven't had a free session already, if we are not currently working together, if we haven't worked together within the past three years, I am happy to, um, to sit down with you for an hour and help you to get moving to your next level. This is Robin John Rosenhaus. I hope you have a fantastic day. I will be back here tomorrow on Friday with your weekend energy report. Until then, remember, when you align your energy, you accelerate your results. Bye for now.